Hey everybody, so today I am going to share with you my, I don't want to say foolproof, but very effective way of proving out why you need a taxonomy to your stakeholders. I have used this in over a dozen situations and every time it hits home. It doesn't mean that mysteriously everybody buys into a taxonomy, but it hits home why they are so effective and why they are important. Now, I wanna preface this by saying that before you go into this exercise with your stakeholders, you wanna make sure you already have your pitch to them created and presented. So this video is going to walk you through how you can start to walk them through the logic as to why you need a taxonomy, proving your point that you've already made in that pitch deck. So that's where you talk about, you know, what is a taxonomy? What does a taxonomy mean for your business? What kind of metrics are you going to use? How you're going, you know, all of those kinds of things that you would put together in any kind of pitch deck. So if you're seeing some resistance or people are like, yeah, you know, nobody really needs a taxonomy. This video will help you find a way to get your point across. All right, so with that, let's go get started. All right, so step one. This is where you're going to create your mini taxonomy. This is just for demonstration purposes. So don't worry about uh, having unique IDs and, and a bunch of other things that you want to make sure you have in a real taxonomy. This is just for demonstration. You want to shoot for between 10 and 15 terms. And you also wanna make sure that they have either two or three levels of depth in the hierarchy. So think of it almost as if it's a mini branch of a taxonomy because you want these terms to have something in common because that's going to help you with the exercise you're going to do with your stakeholders. Speaking of stakeholders, you wanna make sure whatever terms you use resonate with the stakeholders you're going to be talking to. So if you are pitching this to your uh, product team, make sure that the, the terms you're using have something to do with product that they're going to understand what they are and it's going to be meaningful to them. Or maybe you're talking to your HR department, make sure it's uh, HR focused, that sort of thing. Make sure that you're speaking to your audience when you are creating this list. And you can put this into Excel. All right, step two. This is where you assemble your assets. You want this to be an effective and quick exercise. So don't go overboard in the assets that you assemble. You wanna have maybe you know five to seven. Make sure you can do this exercise in about 15 to 20 minutes. So these should be assets that actually would have those tags assigned to them. They should not have anything assigned to them at this time. You wanna have as much metadata for your uh, stakeholders to look at while they're doing this exercise. Assemble them all into one location, whether it's a file folder or if they're physical or whatever it is, so that your stakeholders can easily get to them. Make sure you test ahead of time, they can access these assets. And the taxonomy from step one. All right, step three is actually setting up the meeting. Now remember, you've already pitched this to them. So this meeting should be uh, scoped to tell them that you are going to do an exercise with them that lasts between 15 to 20 minutes to demonstrate why a taxonomy is needed and how effective it can be. What problems could it potentially solve? And hopefully they are willing to look at the data behind decision-making. So that's how you're going to pitch this meeting to them. Now in that meeting, I would really recommend sharing the mini taxonomy and the assets and how the experiment will be conducted while they are in this meeting ahead of time in the actual meeting invite, because that usually gives them a heads up on what to expect. All right, step four, this is where you actually have the meeting. You can do this either physically or remote, whichever is working for you nowadays. So when you get everyone into the room, you're going to go through the prompt. So the prompt is, explaining here's the taxonomy. These are tags, very similar to Twitter tags or tags that you would find on any other social media site. It is used to tag what something is about. That's how you position this. Or if you have a, an example that would resonate more from your exact use case or your company, make sure you use that instead. Then what you're going to ask them to do is to take that taxonomy and quietly, without talking to each other, tag each of the assets with the taxonomy that you've created. So you give them between five and 10 minutes to 
tag these assets with the taxonomy that you have. Here's where it comes into demonstrating why a taxonomy is important. So step five, you're going to assemble all of their tags after they are done. And you're going to show all of the differences that they used in their tagging. That's what you're essentially doing in this demonstration. The way that I present this is, okay, you see that you have all added different tags, different amounts of tags, and here's why. Tagging without even a controlled way of tagging. It's almost as if everyone in the entire organization is sharing a filing cabinet. And in that filing cabinet, you have folders. Those folders can have all kinds of tags on them. So if I had tags that made sense to me, but I also had to share these files with you and you were allowed to put the tags that made sense to you on my files, Chances are you organize your files differently than I do, right? So that is what you're trying to show them in this exercise. This without fail always happens because not everyone tags the same way and you almost have to show your stakeholders as obvious as it might seem to maybe an information professional that not everyone is going to tag assets in the same way with the same tags. It's not always clear to our stakeholders. A lot of the time they just assume people are going to tag things. People are going to um, make their own tags that make sense to them. And that's perfectly fine. That's good enough. But what they don't realize is that doesn't make it effective for anyone else to find information. And what it also means is everybody is using their own logic and how things are organized, which makes querying, searching, and auditing anything in your organization that much more difficult. So bringing this home, showing them in this very short five step process really shows them with their own files and their own tagging, how even amongst themselves, they are tagging differently. And then they can really think about how that looks across the entire organization or the entire department, whatever the scope is on your project. And this usually does help them understand the main problem you are trying to solve, why taxonomies are effective. And these are all generalities, but it is an exercise that I have found makes people realize and then listen to further recommendations from you. All right, so I hope this has been helpful to you. I have done this exercise in many places and it always helps people realize, oh yeah, it would be helpful if we had a standardized vocabulary. Oh yeah, it would be helpful to have a standardized and dependable way of finding information. Yeah, it would be. And that's where you can showcase why taxonomies are so important and how they can be valuable to your business in a very small exercise that really hits home. All right, so with that, I wanna thank you very much and I'll catch you next time.